Now when I begin, I think, mm, it's a bit weird because I could deal with this as a standard form if it was the reciprocal of that integrand, right? If it was one over the square root of blah, 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 what am I gonna, what am I expecting, basically? Yeah, sign inverse, right? So um, I'm just gonna muck around with the coefficients and I'll be fine, that'll be okay. But this as it stands is not a standard form. However, it is close to something that I recognize, right? If I just think about, oh, what is this function? What does it actually represent? Because what I want, being that it's a definite integral, what I want is an area, right? What I want is an area. So if I think about this, if I square both sides and note the fact that the original equation has a restriction that disappears once I've squared it, so I'm just going to state it, okay? What is this thing? What is this thing? This is an ellipse, right? It's super easy to see once you have it like this. Okay. So it's been um, it's been squashed together. Okay. It's like a circle, and you've you've crammed it in four times. I don't have a formula for the area of an ellipse. I could think about um, the area of a circle and then do some scaling business. Okay. But there's no reason to you know sort of go to that recourse if I just think back to making an appropriate substitution. What would change? How would I change this in order to make that actually a circle? What would I do? What, what would have changed over here to end up with a circle? Maybe I should ask this. Why is this an ellipse and not a circle? It's because of this coefficient, right? Man, it's because these coefficients are not the same, right? So if, for instance, this was an x squared rather than a 4x squared, this guy, this guy, then I would have a circle. And circles are super easy to deal with, right? I'm just going to use an area formula. So therefore, what I really want him to be is rather than, you know, a multiple of some square, I just want it to be a square. So I'm going to write it like this. Uh, I'm going to say, because I'm about to do a substitution, x equals 0 and x equals 5 on 2. And I'm going to rewrite this as 4x squared is something squared, all squared, right? What is it? 2x. 2x, right? So I'm going to write it to make that clearer. And now I'm ready to do my substitution, right? Uh, because this is a simple one, I'm just going to do this. I think we can do this in our heads and do it quickly. I'm going to let u equal 2x, right? So what's du on dx? It's 2. Right? I don't have a 2 in this, so I'm going to have to compensate by multiplying by a half. So this is what I'm going to get. If u equals 2x and x equals 0, what will u equal? 2 times 0 is still 0. When x equals 5 on 2, u is double that. So I'm going up to 5. Yep. I chose the substitution 2x equals u, so that's what I've got there. Right. This dx is still there, but the way I resolve it is that du on dx is 2. So 1, which is in there, is half du on dx. We've written this before, right? So I'm going to have half du on dx there. Cancel, cancel. I'm ready to integrate. Okay. Uh, or rather than integrate, evaluate this integral. Because what is this guy, right? This is just a semicircle, but I'm only interested in, like this is negative five to five, I'm only interested in this part, right? You see that? So I'm getting a quadrant, which is a quarter of a circle, right? The area of a circle is pi times the radius squared, right? Uh, which in this case is five squared. But don't forget, there's actually a half here, which I could have put at the front here. Right? So I'm going to just multiply through by that. Does that make sense? Uh, it's definite, so that's why there's no constant of integration. So it looks like I've got a 25 pi on n. Okay. okay. So very, very simple. I can't, like I said before, I could approach it as a circle and then do like some scaling business. There's no reason to when we can choose a perfectly good substitution to turn something elliptical into a circle, you just deal with it very straightforward. Okay.